Bush Boys High students. Today I'm going to show you how to get onto MyOn. Very soon, everyone from years 7 to 12 will be having access to MyOn, which is an online library. The first thing you do is you go to Google. You type in MyOn. And there it is. We'll go into that one. That's okay. Let's pretend that when you type it in, it doesn't say Homebush and you have to type the name of your school. Let's see what happens. I'm typing slowly. I'm getting Homestead, Homeschool Kids. Ah, there we go. Click that away. Click that in. We are go. I'm now going to type the name of a real Year 7 student. Now, we don't want to see this person's last name. I'm going to do his password now, which you also are not going to get to see. Let's see if it works. Bingo, we are in. Year 7s, when you get to this site, I have assigned all of you some special reading. You go here to Projects. I'm going to click on Projects now. Let's have a look. Oh, look what I've done. This is for 7A. A mini biography project. Let's have a look. There's a lot of biography material and they're written as mangas. They're not too long but they're very informative and interesting. Everything from medicine, the cotton gin, television, the creation of blue jeans, the printing press and even the camera. Look what happens when I type on it. It says read the book. You can get extra info and add it to your favorites. What's this? You can take accelerated reader quizzes on each of these as well. Okay, we can type read. It will take us to the link. We can start the book and there we go. You simply type the arrow to advance the pages. Now, surprisingly, as a teacher, I can actually see who's been reading, when they've been reading, and how much they've been reading. Some people have gone to the site and they've read, well, pretty much nothing. They've just gone to the site. But quite a few boys have already read several books, and not just these. I'm going to show you a couple more features on the site. We're going to go to the library now. You can browse the library for yourself. If you like science fiction, let's see what comes up. Do they have science fiction? They do. So once again, I'll show you what I clicked on for that. I clicked on genres. There are also hobby books, weird and weirder, sports, social studies, science, maths, animals, Let's have a quick look at what's available for science fiction and then we'll move on to something else. There we go. Mmm, vampires, zombies, dragons, more dragons, lots of dragons, fun things, crazy things. Some of them look a bit gory. That looks interesting. Ooh, I think I might be reading some of these myself during the holidays. Alright, so now you've had a quick look at my on and you've seen how we can find something interesting to read during the holidays. For the older students, there's also classics. I'm going to let you gentlemen peruse those because there's 210 of them. I'm now going to sign out. Some of you seem to have forgotten how to get into Accelerated Reader. I'm going to show you how to take a quiz on any of the texts that you've read on my own or a book that you've read on your own. I'm going to take you to the Accelerated Reader site now. First you go to the school homepage. Up at the top is curriculum. Scroll down to faculties and scroll across to library. I'm clicking on library now 
There we go. This is the accelerated reader icon. It's the link that takes you straight to the site. I'm going to use that same student's login to show you what it should look like. Because you're a student, you're going to log in as a student. And let's see if the Myon works as well, because it's supposed to. Not now. Never save your passwords. Okay, we're in. When you're ready to take a quiz, you go to the Accelerated Reader tile. You click that. Next comes up a page that shows you a lovely blank where you put in the author. Let's say you're into, oh, I don't know, Wimpy Kid? Let me try typing that in. You need to remember that there's not just one Wimpy Kid story. There's a whole bunch of them. They all come up. You need to look very carefully at the name, not necessarily the cover. Covers can change, not necessarily on The Wimpy Kid, but there are other series, such as, oh, I don't know, Harry Potter, where the books have different covers with each printing. Then you take the quiz. You can also, with some of them, look at the vocabulary. There should be no excuses now. All of you should know how to get onto Accelerated Reader. A lot of students in years 7, 8, and 9 are also able to access word flyers. Some of you, well, some of you have done a really good job. Some of you haven't quite made it yet. I'm going to show you again how to get onto the site. Type in word flyers. Up it comes. I'm now going to click on. I'm going to go in as myself. Here it comes. Okay. I'm going to show you the student demo. Once you're in the site, you really need to know what you're doing. I tried to take my Year 7s through how to use it but I think quite a few people didn't really listen. I'm going to show you how to properly do word flyers. First, you're going to click on one of the top tiles. As you can see going down the side, it has exercises in many different literacy skills. Let's have a look at this one. No ecotourism in the swamp. Surprisingly, you can actually hear, if I've got my sound turn up, that is. Let's see if I can get it going then. No Ecotourism in the Asmat Swamp by Adi Santoso, editor, the Jakarta Times. You read through that really, really carefully. You can listen to it as well. Then you're brought to the tutorial. Now a tutorial is actually a lesson. What I want you to do is listen to it as you read through. Conservation, sustainable, ecotourism, progress, integrity. Technical language is used to talk and write about specialized topics such as environmental issues. For example, conservation means the preservation or protection of part of the natural or constructed world. So once you've read through it and heard it, down at the bottom of the page, you're going to see a little eye. You're going to start the lesson, and there's true false questions. There we go. So, you answer these. Let's see. That's wrong. That's right. That's right. And then you go to next. You're going to be given more activities on that same skill. 
I want you to go through these, perhaps just one lesson each time. Do the whole lesson, continue on, let's see if that's right, am I right? I am. So you would probably do the whole lesson on vocabulary and then the next time you would pick another section to click. So maybe vocabulary this time. Wow. And then the next time you would probably do punctuation. So there's quite a few activities. One session should take you about 20 minutes. I would rather see people doing one session every time we would have a literacy class and get it right with very few extra tries. If someone has 10, 15, 20 tries at getting it correct, I know they've just been clicking. So that's how you get to word flyers and how you do it properly. I'm looking forward to checking up on all of you and seeing how much you're achieving.